Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to change schema of an object, table, view, store, procedure, etc. in SQL Server database. So let's go ahead and connect to the SQL Server instance where your objects are. Then you will be going to databases and under the databases, go to the database where your objects are such as table, views or store procedures. In my case, I'm going to the Tech Brothers IT. Here, I have a few tables in DBO schema, I can see them, and then I have a few tables in staging a schema, and a couple of them in the TB, that's Tech Brothers. So, my company decided uh, they don't want this long schema named staging, they want to create a new schema called STG and uh, rename these all objects or transfer all these objects to that schema. First of all, I will be creating a new schema, so I will be saying create schema. STG if it is not there so run it okay new schema is created where we see that that schema so you go to the uh, database uh, and in the database uh, you have security tab uh, and under the schemas you will see the schema right here all right next you will come back to table just take a look here now what we want to do we want to uh, rename uh, you might think okay let me just uh, uh, right click here and say rename uh, but once you do that, it is letting you edit or change the name of the object. It is not letting you change the schema. So your schema is disappeared. So you can't do that. If you will just keep clicking here two times, what it ha what happened, it will still uh, select that object name and you can rename it if you want, but you cannot change the schema from here. So what we have to do, we have to use the script. Here, we are going to say alter schema stg that's where you would like to move your objects uh, or transfer your objects uh, and you use the word transfer this is quick it's not going to take a whole lot of time this will be very quick in milliseconds this will happen uh, now alter schema staging alt transfer and uh, bring the object with the schema so here we are saying take this uh, object from uh, schema staging uh, and put into the stg so once we run this one, execute, table, refresh, and we see that uh, that uh, table is moved to the STG schema now. That's awesome. But if you have a couple of objects, fine. Maybe you will just keep uh, uh, copying and pasting, and uh, that will just work fine for you. Let's say you have 100 of object, uh, and you have to create this uh, statement uh, uh, for the tables and views uh, and um, functions uh, what you will do that's that's exactly you need to do in uh, uh, QA and production uh, and sometime in the UA, uh, QA, uh, QA uh, or UAT uh, you have some missing uh, objects and all that so what you want to do maybe you want to run the statement on production uh, and create that uh, alter schema statement uh, so how we can do that first of all this is the prospective I'm using like I am a developer and I need to provide this script to the DBA so he can run these uh, statements uh, on uh, all the environments. Uh, so you will say select uh, asterisk uh, from uh, sys.objects. This will give you information of all the objects uh, in your database. Um, so let's say go further down. We can see these are system table. We don't care about system tables but we care about uh, our other tables uh, right here. These are user tables. And if there are stored procedure views and all that, uh, you need to use them and change your schema as well. Now, here we see the schema ID. So I don't know what exactly is the ID for staging. So well, a couple of things we can do from here. I can use select asterisk from sys.schemas and that will give me, okay, what is uh, the name for this uh, schema ID? So let's see here. We see that for schema staging, the schema ID is 6. So I can go ahead and say where schema ID is 6. But I don't really want to do it in different environments. Maybe the schemas were created in different order and they have different IDs. So you want to use the schema name itself, not the schema ID. So I will remove that uh, option. I said, no, I don't want to use it. And I will say where schema underscore name and put the schema ID as a parameter and then say is equal to staging. Now what is happening? We are comparing, uh, we are getting the name from ID and wherever it will be equal to the staging, that's what it will return. So now you see that uh, we have objects, uh, four objects uh, in staging. Uh, 
and you don't have to put the ID because in production and UAT and QA, uh, your schema IDs can be different for a single schema staging because they can be created in different times and different schema IDs are assigned to them. Now, we need to create these alter statements. So what I'm going to do here, as I know that uh, sys.objects, uh, I will make a copy here in case I need to run all the table columns. So it has a name and uh, we have we can use the schema um, this one fine this is can be hard coded and this is the schema we need and this is the table name or object name so this is how we are going to build so we are saying alter schema and then uh, we have to provide the schema stg as uh, this is we already know so we can hard code next uh, we say transfer and after transfer we have to add the schema and object from our source so i'm going to put the single quotes around it then say plus and here remember this is this always gives us the schema name so i'm going to copy this part you can put the parenthesis sometimes schemas can have spaces in them but it's not a good idea but let's say, say be on the safe side we are putting the parenthesis around and now once we have the next part is you want to put dot here starting again close and now we would like to use the name and then uh, plus sign single quotes uh, parenthesis and single quotes as my query from this table okay run this one and see what happened now it return us four statements so alter schema stage transfer staging this this table and this table and that table so see this is a, how you will be you can copy now and give to your dba or first of all let's test this in our scenario right here if it will be able to perform this task in development server so uh, let's run it it completed successfully let's refresh the tables and we see that all those objects are transferred to the stg schema now that's uh, really great and uh, you will be curious like in the video <laughs> i'm gonna stop the video write it and all that no i have all these scripts uh, on the techbrothersit.com so you go to techbrothersit.com then you have sql server t sql tutorial and i'm putting everything chapter by chapter so you have a lot of information about using ssms uh, then you have uh, uh, some videos on databases uh, you have uh, videos on schemas uh, and here uh, uh, you have how to change schema on of the object table view and store procedure you click here and then all the script is right there you can copy and paste and start using it what i will do i will also put the link for uh, this uh, post in the description so you don't have to come here but i will recommend coming to this website this has a lot of information as a dba tutorial ssis tutorial ssrs tutorial and a lot more tutorials thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in next video